out of my desire Ooh, I'm on fire But tell me now, baby, is it good to you? Can it do to you the things I do, oh yeah I'll take you higher How's it going folks, this is Wayne Orr, back with another lesson and an amazing song as always today we've got Bruce Springsteen and I'm on fire. Uh, I must say I've recently been to see Bruce Springsteen live and he absolutely blew me away. I never fully got Bruce Springsteen before then, you know I've always uh, been into his music, I've got a lot of his albums but a lot of my mates have always said you know oh you've got to go and see him live and I must say you know at 73 years old and he played for three hours solid, no support, absolutely blew me away. So this is a, a Springsteen inspired lesson, obviously from that gig. I've done a few other Springsteen songs, I've done Glory Days and Dancing in the Dark, a couple of others if you want to go and check those out. Uh, but I wanted to get this one down because my version, acoustically, I'm doing sort of a percussive strum, so I think it's a good sort of technique to get down. Now if you do want the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern to this, as always, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page, so there'll be a link to that in the description, I'll also put a link in the comments. And the way that that works, you just sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you want to pledge. It's all very much appreciated. And it gives you guys access to not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past 18 months. So there's a lot of stuff up there now. There's also some exclusive content, some videos. Uh, there's videos from the archive, the stuff to coincide with a lot of the technique lessons I've done. If you're into the blues and scales stuff that I've done, you know, in the past, it's all up there. So uh, what you're waiting for? Link in the comments. Link in the description. If you don't want to do that and you want to show some appreciation, I've got a new feature which is like a super thanks link. It's just under the video there. You can click on that, make a small donation. Again, very much appreciated. Uh, thanks for your continued support, thanks everyone who's subscribed, now if you are subscribed and you haven't done already a further way you could help me out and yourselves out is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there and if you want to please go over and give me a like on social media, so I'm Wayne Our Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and now also TikTok as we always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway that's enough of me rambling without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and first of all, I'm just going to go over, you know, the meat and potatoes of the song, all the chords that you need, everything you need to play the song, and I'll talk about the strumming pattern at the end of the song. You know, you don't have to use a percussive strum, you can sort of do it with strumming, so I'll, I'll give you a simple strumming pattern, and I'll also show you the percussive strumming way, the way that I played it in the intro, okay? So the chords to the intro are going to be an E, and then we're going to go to a C sharp minor. Okay, so it's sort of two bars on each chord. So we've got the E. And it goes to the C sharp minor. That goes through again. Back to the E. C sharp minor. Okay, now when we go into the verse, uh, we're going to do an E, we're going to go to an A chord, that's just the standard A major, we're going to go to a C sharp minor, back to the A, then we're going to do a B, now I do that off the A string root, and then we're going to go back to the E again, and that goes through again, okay? So I'm just going to sing that through so you can see how that sort of gels together, so we got... Hey little girl, is your dead home? Did he go Got a bad desire. Ooh, 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 I'm on fire. I'll go through again. So we know, baby, is it good to you?
Okay, and then we go back into sort of the intro chords. We've got the E and the C sharp minor, so two bars on it. Okay, and on the first two lines of the next verse, uh, we're going to do sort of an A, an E, and then a C sharp minor. And then it's going to go back to the E, A, C sharp minor, A, B, and then back to the E again. Sometimes like someone took a nap, baby, edgy and dull, and a six inch valley through the middle of my skull. And I don't wake up with a sheet soaking wet, a freight train running through the middle of my head over oh, you. Can't put my desire. Repeats again the A, B, and the E. Then we go back to the C sharp minor and the E. So uh, that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song. Now there is an alternative way that you can play this if you are a beginning you don't want to take on all those bar chords. So if you have the capo on the second fret, uh, the E chord will then become a D, the C sharp minor a B minor, we've got one bar chord there, the A will become a G and the B will become an A. Uh, I'm going to post that up on Patreon so there will be you know, sort of an alternative way that you can play it as well. But I do think, obviously, with the percussive strum, which I'm going to explain in a minute, it, this version does generally work a lot better. And this is, obviously, you know, based on the original version. Okay, so strumming pattern, like I say, I'm going to talk about the percussive strum in a short while. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to get through the song, I think a pattern which, which would work perfectly well would be a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I said down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So if you hear that around the chords... Okay, so if we look at the percussive strum beat that you can add in there, I think this is really effective if you're playing it live, it sort of, you know, like I say, adds a bit of a drum beat in there. Now when I've seen Springsteen play, he sort of doesn't, he sort of uses a percussive finger a little bit, but he sort of, you know, mutes the strings as he plays, so he's, you know, you get a version that's like this. but I think it's nice to sort of strum the chords and add obviously this percussive beat in. Now the way that that works, if we just take the E chord, obviously we're going to do a down up and on the second down what we want to try and do is use the side of the palm, put that down a split second on all the strings before we strum the strings and what we get is this percussive beat. It's not easy to do, you have to sort of practice a little bit. A good thing to do is just to practice doing that first of all, getting that so we don't want, you know, the strings ringing through. It's got to be all the strings muted like that. So if you put that in with the beat, it's going to go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, if you can see my hand movement there, so... Okay. So, like I say, uh, it's quite hard to do. I have done a standalone video of this. Uh, I'm actually going to tag that in the comments if you want to go and check that out as a standalone video. But I think it's really effective if you can use that technique in this song. And uh, that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all love that. And as I always say, if you don't like Springsteen, you don't like music. And uh, I, I can't stress enough if you've never seen him live. I'm now a complete convert, you know, you don't know what you're missing. If, if you do get a chance, you know, uh, 
I had to pay through the nose for the tickets, but it was worth it. You know, he's one artist that you've got to see live. He's definitely one to put on the bucket list. So there we go. Now, if you have got any other Springsteen, you know, requests, uh, I've, like I said, I've done Dancing in the Dark, Glory Days, um, Born in the USA, if you want to go and check that one out. But if there's anything that you'd like to see me do, there will be others, uh, you know, sooner or later. Or it doesn't have to be Springsteen. It can be anything 50s to modern day that's going to work on an acoustic or an electric guitar within reason. So the easiest way to put a request in is comment below the video. Or if you want to find me a personal message over on those social media platforms I suggested at the start of the video, you're very welcome to. I just always point out that I do get quite a lot of requests and I do have to sort of hemp it them a little bit. But don't let that put you off. Please do keep your requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated. Another thing that's very much appreciated, I'll quickly mention it again, if you are subscribed and you haven't done already, further way you could help me out and yourselves out so you can keep up to date with the videos is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there. The patron thing, sorry to keep banging on about it, you want the chords, lyrics and strumming pattern to this song and pretty much everything under over the past 18 months, there's a lot of stuff up there now, there's a link in the comments, link in the description. Uh, word of mouth is a powerful thing so if you dig what I do please like and share my videos, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays guitar please point them in my direction. So that just leads me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, maybe morning, day, night, thank you very much and I'll catch you all for last and very soon. Take care.